so in Vue.js, in not only the Vue.js, so any anything we have a when we are trying to maintain this one is a class instance, okay? So which you are trying to maintain view dot create app. This is a method, and we are trying to pass some options here. This is called as an options. So now for every class instance, we know that we have a constructor, okay? So these are all the things destroy. These are all things we have. The same scenario, Vue.js also has a life cycle. When this Vue.js is instantiated, okay, when the Vue app is created, the first method which it will try to create it is the before create. Okay, this is the method which it will try, which it will, which it will try to call it before create. This is the con normally directly called. So before create means when this before creation of this app, app before create will fire. So here if I try to show you console.log before created. Okay, this method will be called automatically. So there is no need for you to call specifically before create. Now here if you see the output, see here automatically before created is call it, called. So now when I try to refresh this page, before created is called. Now you need to understand that before creation of this instance, this, this before create will be called. So that means this object, this instance is not created at all, but this is calling automatically. So that means you cannot able to access this text message. For example, if I want to access console.log this dot text message. Okay, you cannot access the methods, these methods or properties, anything you cannot access it here in this before create. Why? Because before creation, it will start. See here, I'm able to see undefined. Why? Because it is, it is unable to know. Or otherwise, I will try to add some sample here. Yeah. Now, if you try to see here, see, we are not able to get any value. So that means you need to understand that this is the first method before create. The first before creation of before executing this data methods and all those things before create will be executed first time then after these all are initialized and after this all when the instance is created when the view instance is created that is nothing but when app variable this all instance is created then you will have an another life cycle look that is nothing but a created okay so this created will be executed now if you try to see console.log created console.log created and I will write console.log this dot text message. So I want to access this variable properties. So I can able to access the properties or methods or not. Let's try to see. So now if you use this created and this one all. Now if you see the output. See now this time I am able to access. So first before created is able to, uh, is executing. So before created cannot able to access all the variables and the properties and methods available in the Vue.js. And when the created is called, so that means created means nothing but a view instance is created, everything is initialized. The instance, so that means the variables, the properties, methods, everything are available now to use. Then you can able to access this one, the properties or methods, whichever the thing you want to call it, you can call it here in this created. Then after this one, okay, so here you need to understand another thing also. So let's say that this refs, so that means this element, or otherwise this document dot get element by this name text i can able to access this one or not let's try to see it okay console dot log document dot get element by id name text i'm able to access it not see actually this uh, this text box is available but i am not able to access this html element let's see that i'm able to access the html in this one or not i'm able to access the properties and methods in this one in this created in the before create i'm not i'm not able to access the properties and methods I am not able to access the HTML elements also. In the created, let's see that I am able to access the properties and methods available in the JavaScript. Let's see that I am able to access the HTML present uh, HTML elements or not. Let's try to see it in the created. If you see here, in the created also, I am not able to access the HTML. So that means you need to understand that the HTML is not yet rendered up to now. When the before create and created is called, HTML is not yet rendered. So here, if you try to refresh, immediately it is going on. But after execution of this one only HTML will be rendered. So that is the reason. So it is not able to find the element. So that means whenever you want to use the refs, refs or anything in the created or before create, you cannot able to access the HTML. But the JavaScript variable, not the JavaScript variable, the instance with properties, methods or anything which you want to access, you cannot access in the before create, you can access in the created. So these are the two, these are the main difference between the before create and created. So now there is another life cycle hook. 
that is nothing but before mounted okay so you are having another life cycle hook that is nothing but before mounted before mounted only before mount okay so this is also a before mount so now this method what it is try what it will try to do is same like created only this one is also so here you will let's let's see before mount means before rendering of the html before mounting means before mounting before mounting means nothing but before mounting the html this method will execute before mount let's see that whether able to access or not here also i am not able to access the html why because before mount means before mounting the html this method will execute and we have an another method another life cycle the same created and before mount is one and the same only so in between this one so before mounting the html this method will execute when the instance is created this method will execute now here we have a mounted another one is a mounted mounted means when html is successfully rendered when the html is successfully placed in the browser then this mounted will execute so if you try to be able to see it here now i am able to access the javascript properties and also i should be able to access the html also why because mounted means automatically when the html is rendered in the browser this method will execute after the rendering immediately now if you see here see before, sorry this should not be before mount this is a mounted so that we can have clear idea mounted now mounted got executed we are able to access the data properties also and now we are able to access the html variables also html elements also i'm able to access it so this is the hierarchy actually how it goes before create created before mount mounted so these are all the things we'll be having and we have an another another type that is nothing but before update okay so before update and we have an another thing that is nothing but updated so these are the three two things which you'll be having before update and updated i will try to show you console.log when it will write this okay before update and here updated so here also you can access everything so i'm not writing those all things updated so when these properties do properties will execute is whenever any data variable changes okay whenever any data property changes so when whenever any data property you are trying to update it or you want to try to modify any data so right now here we are having only one data property so ultimately we'll be having so many data properties any data property if it changes before changing this one will execute after changing this one will execute see now i will try to show you so first time it is not executed why because i am not changing any data data property nothing has been changed now i will try to write some input boxes here and here if i click on the add message what it is trying to do on add message i am trying to update one data property that is nothing but text message so i am trying to modify it so when i modify this one immediately these two methods will execute see i will try to show you I changed some values here. Let's remove. I clicked on the here. See, this one is the things to printed from the that method. And here, before update and updated is executed immediately. See, so that means before update and updated, when it will try to execute is whenever any data property, not only this one, any data property, if it is changed, it means before changing, it will execute this one. After changing, this one will execute. So these are the two things. So whenever any data property changes. This one will execute. For example, if I click on this one again, so now this one, it, this time it is not uh, firing. Why? Because it is smart enough. The same value we are trying to change, change it. So there is there is no update, right? If I try to add one value here, two. Now if I click here, immediately this one got executed. So whenever any data property is changing, means these two lifecycle loops will invoke. So this is somewhat danger. We need to rethink when we are trying to use it why because any data property is changing means these two methods will input invoke so whenever you are trying to implement a logic in this one two methods means you need to rethink once and try to do it why because all the time any data property is updating these two life cycles will try to execute and the last life cycle looks which we are having is the before unmount unmounted before unmount unmounted okay this is nothing but a destroy so how the class we have a destroy right on destroy so like this we have this in before unmount and unmounted and here i can use console.log so when you want to do any cleaning purposes and all those things you can use it before unmounted and here unmounted
unwanted if you see that. Now, if you see here, let's say that I am trying to add here, everything is kind. So now this view instance still it is there. So that is the reason we are not, uh, it is not calling this unmounted and also the unmounted. If you want to explicitly call means I can write something like here, yeah, we don't have a logic, right? So I am writing set timeout. So after some five seconds, some 500 milliseconds, now here I am trying to say, <coughs> app dot on mode so i am trying to remove this one app dot on sorry app dot on mode i will do now let's see what will happen okay immediately it is getting executed so let's say that we will make it as five seconds only yeah now see it is a unmounted for after five seconds one two three four five some no, let's yeah before unmounted unmounted got executed and this html everything uh, view instance and all those things has been removed so whenever you want, whenever you are trying to remove a component, so component means we'll try to discuss afterwards. Component or anything, a particular part when you are trying to remove it means the instance if you are trying to remove it. Before removing, this one will execute. After removing, this one will execute. So these are the lifecycle loops which are available in the Vue.js. So let's try to read. see it again. First one is the before create. Before creating the instance, here you cannot able to access any data property, HTML element, nothing you can be able to access it. So initializations and all those things you cannot do it here also. This is the created. You can able to access the data properties and also you cannot able to access the HTML elements. Before unmount also you cannot able to access it. But in the mounted you can able to access everything. So mounted is the main thing which we will be using more often rather than these all things mounted we will be using more often so here initialization purposes so and all those things we will try to do it here something like a constructor like this so mounted so here you'll be able to access the data properties html elements and all those things before update and updated is any data property anything if any change occurs means these two methods will execute before updating and after updating and these are the two things before unmount and unmounted so when the uh, destroying happens so when the component is getting destroyed or when the view instance is getting destroyed before destroying and after destroying so these two methods will include so this is used for the cleaning purpose and all those things you will try to use so these are all the life cycle hooks which are available in the Vue.js so if you try to see here in the Vue.js life cycle hooks so here you will be able to see before create and after create options API is initialized that is nothing but data properties and in created we are able to access the data properties and this one is trying to execute the compiling template so template will be compiled that is nothing but html template will be compiled but it is not rendered before unmount so that is the reason we are not able to access the html thing now here initial render so then afterwards the rendering and all those things dom nodes everything will be created then mounted will be called after mounted when data changes when the data property changes before update and these all the things will be called so this one is when, uh, when unmounting, these two things will be called. So these are the life cycle hooks which are present in the Vue.js. This is all about this life cycle, uh, life cycle uh, methods in the available in the Vue.js thing.